Hey everybody, it's Paige and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Today's video is going to be up late. I already know it's already 5 o'clock and I'm just now starting to film this. Today has been so crazy, like <laughs> so busy. I've been so busy the last few days so I'm really behind now on my uploading so I have to film, edit, and upload this in the same day. Hopefully tomorrow I can catch up. But anyway, today's video is going to be another declutter. We are in this sort of awkward, messy corner of my room and I'm going to be doing a lip balm declutter because look at all of these lip balms. This is absolutely unacceptable. I have lip scrubs, lip balms, lip oils, any kind of lip treatment, lip masks, all of that is in here. So we're going to go through this and hopefully get rid of a lot. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is my lip treatment drawer. We've got lip balms, lip oils, lip scrubs, lip masks, all of that kind of thing in here and I have way too much of it so I'm going to go ahead and start by grabbing a few things that I know I can declutter. Here I have some products from the brand Truly. This was a collaboration with Erica Costell and Truly and we have the Lip Plumping Serum and the Big Juicy Lip Oil. I literally have never used these, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter them because if I haven't used them yet, I probably won't use them in the near future and they're still unopened, so those can go along with these guys over here. We've got the Sexy Soft Lip Scrub and the Luscious Lip Butter, and these are from the same collaboration and once again haven't ever used these so those can go what else do we have in here i have some lush lip products back here that are probably expired so um wow there's like a few different things in here i have two whipstick lip balms so let me just take a peek at the expiration date on these <gasps> this is appalling <laughs> this is so bad okay well this one right here expired in 2017 so she's gonna go this is a lip balm that i love like i've gone through several of these but somehow that one has stuck around and then this one is literally so brand new which is horrible i mean it's not brand brand new but it's basically brand new and this one expired in september of this year so it's not quite as old but it is gonna go. I have the Buttered Brazils Lip Balm. This one expired in 2017. This was literally made in 2016. It still smells fine, honestly, but like I'm not gonna keep these. Um, but let's see if I can show you. Um, used by 11, no wait, used by December 11th, 2017. That's insane. And then this one is the Honey Trap Lip Balm. This one expired in June of this year. That one actually smells kind of funky. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that one's gonna go as well. Now I'm gonna switch over and grab a few products that I'm definitely going to be keeping. And those would be my Laneige Lip Masks. I love these lip masks so much, so let me show you the flavors that I have. This one is Apple Lime. This one smells so yummy. This next one is in the scent Vanilla. I have these two holiday ones. These are from last holiday season, I'm pretty sure. We've got Mint Choco and Sweet Candy. Sweet Candy is probably my favorite one. Um, and then I have minis that are like just out of frame here. I have some minis right here. So let's see what we've got. I have a mini original and a mini grapefruit. And I'm normally not a big fan of grapefruit, but I actually am going to keep both of these. I have a mini apple lime and a mini sweet candy. And both of these are used, so I'm going to go ahead and keep them. But I do have a mini mint choco which this one is unused and i already have the full size of this which i have not very i have not used very much of it up so i'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on and then all of these little spatulas go with the uh laneige lip sleeping mask so i'm gonna go ahead and keep those Another one that I'm definitely going to keep is my Tatcha lip mask. 
This is the Kisu Lip Mask. Hello. There we go. This is a really nice hydrating product, and it comes with this little spatula thing here, and I really like Tatcha products, so that can stay. I'm also going to keep my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. I love this thing so much. It's so amazing. I have this Aquaphor, which I'm actually going to keep this as well. This is really good if you have, like, crazy dry skin. You can use this on, like, your skin, your lips, your elbows, whatever. I tend to get really dry elbows and then also really dry lips, so I am going to keep that. I have a couple of these Super Goop lip products, and these have SPF in them, and oh, they're actually still good. Do I have any other ones? The SPF in these is still good. One expires in May of 2021, and one expires April 2022. However, I just have too much lip balm so i actually am going to declutter both of these but they are really nice products this one is sort of like a lip gloss you can apply it over anything and it gives you spf 50 and this is a nice spf 30 acai lip balm and again both of these are really great products i just have too many things i am going to keep my glossier balm.com products I have a couple of them. These are the three that I have. We've got rosebalm.com, berrybalm.com, and birthdaybalm.com. The birthday one is my personal favorite because it smells like birthday cake and I love anything scented like that. These are also really nice balm type things that are very healing if you have like super dry lips. I have these two lip balms which are honestly just getting pretty old. I have a banana one from Sephora and then this one is a pink lemonade lip balm and they were both nice but um i definitely don't need them oh we've got some more laneige products in here these are their lip balms and i actually love their lip balms so i'm gonna keep all of these we've got these two which are peach and grapefruit and then here we have the flavors berry and pear i'm gonna keep my kopari lip balms i actually have a couple of them this one is the shade Birthday Suit. I also have this darker one. This one is in the shade Sangria. And then I have the original, which this one's probably still my personal favorite. This is just like the clear one, but these are really, really nice. Very hydrating, big fan. I have this lip balm from Pixi. This is like a vitamin C lip balm. I've actually used it a couple of times. Didn't love it a ton, so I am going to go ahead and declutter that. It's not bad, it's just like nothing amazing. I have so many other lip balms that I would probably reach for first. I actually have another lip balm from Pixie, and this is like the Peach Pout one. Again, I haven't used this product, and I have too many things, so I'll just go ahead and pass that on to somebody else. And then I have the Lululemon lip balm, which I really liked this at first, but it kind of doesn't smell as good as it used to. It's more like plasticky now, so probably expired, so both of these are going to go. I have these two little avocado type things here. We have a lip balm and a lip scrub. These are both, oh my goodness, they're both from Skin Food, and they're nice, but once again, <laughs> how many times do I have to say it? I just have too much stuff, so I am going to pass those along. I have more Sol de Janeiro products. These are their like tinted Brazilian Kiss type lip balms. So um, this one is Teeny Bikini. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the packaging. They have three different shades. They've got Teeny Bikini. They've got Soulmate. And then the third one I already have opened. This one is in the shade Keep It Rio. And I'm going to go ahead and keep all three of these. So I still have more lip balms to go through, but as you can see, my lip scrub collection is quite out of hand. Um, I think I'm gonna look at my Lush ones first and then we'll just see what is still good, if anything is still good. Okay, so the age of some of these lip scrubs is appalling. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this one is the unicorn one. This one is still good until March. So I'm probably gonna move this to my everyday makeup drawer and just like crank that out and try to get as much done as I can. Um, and then this Galaxy one is still good for 
just a couple more months. So I'm gonna keep those two. However, all of these are expired. Um, the oldest one being this bubblegum lip balm, you guys. This was made in <clears throat> September uh, 23rd of 2015. This lip balm is literally over five years old, or this lip scrub, I should say. Let's see if I can show you. There it is. That's insane. I was just starting college. <laughs> like, I was in my first month of college, essentially, when this was made. So, um, unfortunately, these eight have to go because they are all very expired. I also have a ton and I mean a ton of these Jeffree Star lip scrubs, and these don't actually have an expiration date on them, but I know that some of these are insanely old, um, particularly like these right here. These were from the 2017 Summer Collection. These were the first ones that I bought, I'm pretty sure. They still smell like they're supposed to, but <laughs> I don't wanna risk putting expired like lip scrub all over my mouth. So, um, honestly, I might, I might, I might get rid of all of them. I, th I think I will. It sucks because this is a lot of money that I spent on this product, but like, I can't keep them forever and they're, some of them are really, really old and some of them are scents that I don't even like because I was just like an obsessive collector <laughs> of Jeffree Star Cosmetics just because I loved his products so much and I still do, like his products are freaking amazing, but um, the lip scrubs are definitely something that I don't mind letting go of, you know, like, I don't know. Most of them need to be thrown away anyway, so it, you know, helps me as far as the money aspect of it. That is insane. So insane. Okay, so now we just have this little section here. So let me look through here. Oh, I have a an unopened Diet Shane. This is his lip balm. I actually had two of these, so um, this one's still brand new, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. I still have another one somewhere. It might be with the rest of my Jeffree Star lip products, but I still have one that's open. I've got some of these fresh sugar lip balms. We have lemon, peach, and then a little mini caramel. And I think I'm going to keep all of these. I'm also going to keep my Ula Henriksen lip no wait, Lucky Pucker Lip Scrub. This is really nice. I like the way it smells too. I'm gonna keep this ColourPop Lip Scrub along with the Lippy Balm. These aren't my favorite formulas, but they're pretty nice. Like I still want to keep them. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Therapy type thing. Um, I got this pretty recently and it's still new. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I also have the Intensive Lip Mask. I'm not sure if these are different products, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of those. I'm also gonna keep the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. I've heard really good things about that. This Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover. I can go ahead and get rid of this. I've literally never used it. I use like cleansing balms to remove my makeup and that does a pretty good job at removing any sort of lipstick that I might have on. <gasps> oh my God. I literally just bought these baby lips. Um, I featured them in a Target gift guide, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep those. Ooh, and this Glow Recipe. This is like a lip balm and lip scrub type thing. It's called their Lip Pop. I'm going to keep that. I'm gonna keep this Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream along with this Kylie Skin Hydrating Lip Mask. And then I have this. This is the Sugar Rush Best Bud Peony Lip Butter Balm. I think I'm going to keep this as well. I have this little lip scrubber thing from Sephora that I'm gonna keep. I also want to keep my Algenist Liquid Collagen Lip. This is super expensive. I honestly need to use this more. I might move it to my bathroom. Um, I wanna keep this Milk Makeup, what is this called? Glow Oil Lip and Cheek thing. It's in the shade Flare. I haven't tried this yet. I probably wouldn't put it on my cheeks, but I do want to try that on my lips. I've also heard really good things about this Lano Lips 
ointment. <laughs> it's like a lip balm. Multi-purpose super balm is what they call it. So I do want to keep that. I'm going to keep my La Mer. Um, I just got this Kosa Sport lip balm. I think I'm actually going to declutter that. Um, then we've got this lip oil. I don't, that's a maybe. This Bite Beauty. What is this called? Base condition wait line and define lip primer I guess I'll keep that and I'll keep my buxom I think I might I don't know it's just that this is still unwrapped like or it's still packaged so it's still brand new and I have so much that I could just give this to somebody else so I'll declutter that and then I'll keep those other products So this La Mer is starting to not smell exactly right, which is very unfortunate because this was so expensive, but I do think it's time to declutter that, which never in my life did I think that would happen. Um, these like baby lips things don't really fit right. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. I think we're done. I think this is the after. There's still a lot of stuff in here, but you guys, this looks so much better. Just wait until I show you how much products I am getting rid of. I'm honestly very proud of myself. All right, you guys, so here's an overview of everything that I'm getting rid of. The majority of the stuff is Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip scrubs, and there's so many of them here, and it kind of makes me sad because I've just had these for so long, and I have had such... A love for Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but these are literally just so old and I need to learn to let it go. So these are going, all of these Lush Lip Scrubs, which once again, for some reason I have a weird attachment to these. Um, and then like these Truly, is that what the brand is? I already forgot. <laughs> Truly? Yes. These Truly products, Lush. All of these like lip balms and lip oils and things so that's everything that I'm decluttering from my lip drawer I honestly don't know how all of this fit into that drawer like I didn't add anything all of this plus all of that was in there somehow I'm so happy with how it turned out let me turn my light a little bit this way it looks so much better so much more manageable I still don't need to buy lip balm probably for the rest of my life but <laughs> I definitely narrowed it down quite a bit, so I'm very happy with how this turned out. I'm so excited. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I'm going to try to get more caught up on my Vlogmas videos so that they're not up super, super late. I have an empties video to film. That's a little sneak peek right here. I also have a glam light video to film and my organization videos. There's so much fun stuff to do so anyway I love you guys so so much I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next one bye